Good evening and welcome to a special edition of the Vigilante Dialogues. I am your host, Shana Smith. And today we will be talking about Virgin Islands Meal Call. My guest is none other than Bishop John Ivan Klein. Welcome, Hello. Bishop. It's um, good to be here. All yes. right. So you have a new initiative that's coming up in September. It's yes. going to be the first weekend in September. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the background of Meal Call. Um, mail call is really something that grew out of the whole Save the Sea theme. Um, some, what, 20 plus years ago, when I received the whole um, message, I would say, inspiration for Save the Sea, um, as an outgrowth of that, we started doing something called mail call. We had it for a few years, both in the in Tortola and in Virgin Gorda, mm -hmm. um, and what it was where is where we call mail from mails from at that time basically within the Christian community together whether they were Baptist Methodist Pentecostal mm -hmm. Adventist whoever it didn't matter as long as you were male living in the BVI we wanted us to come together around a Christ-centered theme to help promote um, just Christian living, godly lifestyle um, in in our in our country. Um, so that's the history yeah. of mail call. Um, you know, it's not inspired. I even think I had it before. Um, T. D. Jakes had his. What do you call that thing uh, again? Manpower. Manpower. Mm -hmm. I think even before manpower, there was mail call in the BVI. <laughs> so uh, I'm very proud of that. Okay. Um, along the line, it fizzed out. And, but I believe that the time is right in, in our territory, in our country, that we revisit some things and bring to life some things because the need for us to all be show some kind of responsibility in terms of building our nation, um, whether it's from an economic standpoint, religious standpoint, um, social standpoint, political standpoint. Um, I think all, I think the time is now that we can try to galvanize men Mm -hmm. uh, and we can have a women call too, you know. <laughs> but, gonna, yeah, but we'll get there. Uh -huh. But um, so that's that's really the history of it. Okay. So who's the target? You said um, previously was focusing on the Christian communities. Who's your target audience this time? This time we are taking it as you rightfully um, said, the Virgin Islands mail call. So we are looking for persons from Virgin Gorda. We are looking in the business community. Some of our speakers will reflect that. Um, we are looking at it from a political standpoint. Some of our speakers reflect that. We are looking for people that sit on the corner that maybe you don't ordinarily has a voice, but has a story. Mm -hmm. We want them to come in and tell their story. We are trying to get prisoners involved, those who have been incarcerated and who feel their lives and their livelihood have been taken away. We want to we want to give them an opportunity to maybe voice how how did it happen? How did it get here and how, how we can survive it. We're looking at of course this is this is Christ centered and it's church based, mm -hmm. but it's not limited church people. We are looking at every uncle, every father, every grandfather, every boy over the age of ten I think is the age Mm -hmm. that we earmarked. So we're looking at boys, um, young men, from the age of 10 and up, where the older can impart some wisdom mm -hmm. and some instructions to the, the younger, and the younger can ask questions of the older. So okay. we, are, we are targeting males in the BVI. You don't have to be affiliated with a church. Mm -hmm. You just have to live here. You could be black, white, Hindu, Muslim. We just want you to come and be a part of what we believe will continue to be an impactful event for men in the BVI. Okay, awesome. So what are some of the topics? Or first off, let's start off with, it's a weekend event. So I think we're starting on Friday the 1st. What's happening on that Friday? Friday we kick off in the Norloid Action Movement Park at six o'clock, mm -hmm. um, and we will be there. And 
and where that's going to be our opening session mm -hmm. we're gonna have different persons speaking that night um, I don't know if we're gonna have singing men some men like to sing some don't but we'll have various speakers that night mm -hmm. and we're just going to rally the cause and, and 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 really ramp up and we'll hear from different voices um, that night as to um, you know what the the following day will be but mm -hmm. definitely we will have some significant speakers that night we'll get into the speakers okay. um, a little later all right um, so for that night so friday night is the gathering friday night is a gathering and then on saturday we go down to the save the seed energy center yes and have breakout sessions so tell us about some of the topics that's going to be going on um it's my intention that we speak about everything that affect life especially male life in the bvi so we want to talk about family we're going to talk about being a man um what does that look like for you today we're going to talk about sex we're going to talk about finances we're going to talk about business we're going to talk about church um you know um spirituality uh we're going to talk about relationships because not everybody's married but some are seriously dating we're, we're going to speak about male life in the BVI mm -hmm. and the things that affect that um, whether negatively and positively and how all of us can come together and begin to make a difference because the truth is I believe we have an obligation to affect the next generation and we cannot afford to drop the ball anymore because we have dropped the ball and what our parents passed along to us mm -hmm we have not been able to effectively and i say effectively pass along to our sons and our daughters and i think we have that responsibility if we drop the ball pick it back up and let's let's go okay great so that's all day we'll be at the center um who are some of the speakers some of the speakers um we have we have um the honorable ronnie skelton you know he's going to be speaking because a lot of times you see people and you don't know their history mm -hmm. um and we sometimes don't even know our history but sometimes when i live listen to the honorable skeleton speak about how we used to bring water from fish bay and go fish bay to shift goat and then coming home when it done dust and a lot of people will see you know skeleton development or whatever and think it started there mm -hmm. it was a vision of a, of a father who who instill work ethics in his sons by shifting goat first mm -hmm. and tending to sheep and goat and and that kind of stuff it, it didn't start with this big the big buildings the all big over town no yeah. that's not how it started mm -hmm. so he's going to talk about how it used to be in the past mm -hmm. and and what that meant um we're going to have um james todman the contractor very successful businessman um in the construction field who's built a business from literally nothing but now um, is one of the most sought after contractors and has built a viable um, and successful business and we want young men to know coming up um, you don't have to take a path of least resistance or quick money but you can build a successful business if you work hard and 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 dedicate yourself to it mm -hmm. um, we have people like Mead Malone Mm -hmm. a local preacher in the, in the Methodist Church but also a businessman in the financial um, sector mm -hmm. um, investments and so on we're going to have um, um, other speakers um, so we have, other, ch <laughs> you have we other have, churches involved we have other churches I'm, I'm so glad to see we have representation from the Methodist Church and the Boys Brigade mm -hmm. we have Tower of Faith Mm -hmm. um, Pastor Frankie, we have mm -hmm. um, New Testament Church of God, mm -hmm. Bishop Ishmael Charles and, and his members. Um, we have um, King Godmay Baptist Church, Mount Carmel Baptist Church. Um, we, and we're asking if you are church and you're seeing this and you didn't get an invitation, it's not because. We don't want you there. We want you there. We want, if you have a males group, we want you there. Come be a part. If you have something to contribute, you can always um, call a church. We want to make this really wholesome, really big. And even if you have a male group who wants to sing Friday night, we can even put you on the program because we ain't on a singing group, right? <laughs> so um, we just want to make it a time of fellowship, mm -hmm. but also information um, where people can walk away knowing that it 
is it has had an impact in their lives. Mm -hmm. I also see on the list of topics men's health. Oh, absolutely. Um, I was sharing with someone the other day when I was used to be chairman at the Health Services Authority. At that time, we had about 52 persons on dialysis. Mm -hmm. um, and I think about fifth, maybe 48 of them were, oh, were men. Wow. Um, because as men, sometimes we don't like to take care of our health. We don't like to go to the doctor. We don't like to have checkup. So there's dialysis problem we have in the BVI. There's prostate issues that men have. Um, some men suffer with erectile dysfunction because of diabetes or something like that. No man wants to know that he has erectile dysfunction. We want to talk about real issues mm -hmm. that affect men. And one of the things that affect men is is um, is is their health. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna. Have have Dr. Harlan Vanderpool, I think, is the one who is going to be speaking on that particular subject, men's health, mm -hmm. with, of course, supporting cast. We always have Dr. Vanderpool, um, our own Dr. Heskett Vanderpool, speak to us from our church perspective. Mm -hmm. We want to broaden it up and get more people involved. Okay. Awesome. So that's a full day. And then I see there's a session in the evening, and we're bringing in a guest speaker. Yes. Um, coming in from Atlanta. But Virgin Islands born is Professor Devin Robinson, and he's going to be speaking, our uh, guest speaker for, for that evening. It's always good when we can find local people from the soil who've traveled away, who have um, had um, exposure. I know he's written a couple books, mm -hmm. um, so he's going to come and be our guest speaker. Um, we're looking really forward to a really, really rich time of information sharing spirituality mm -hmm. building up and that kind of thing yeah okay so is there a cost for the conference no the conference is free it's gonna cost us <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna cost us to put it on because mm -hmm. we have to fly in the speaker mm -hmm. of course and put him up mm -hmm. um the other things when we go in the park um, we have to rent some kind of sound system and mm -hmm. stage. So it will cost us at the New Life Baptist Church. So if you're there and you believe in this and you want to help us and you can and donate a, a sponsor of $200 or $300 or $500, mm -hmm. we welcome you. Help us do this. This is not a New Life thing. It's a Virgin Islands mail call. We are just the one spearheading it. But we ask you to come alongside us in the name of our one God, and around one faith and one one common purpose that's that's making the BVI better and building this little nation and leaving a legacy for our children and our children's children. Come alongside us and and, and let us make this successful. Awesome. So Bishop, as we wrap up, how would one register for this? Um you should tell me because you are the one <laughs> that is You put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> All right, doing so. all of this registration <laughs> thing. I, I don't want to make sit here and make the people think I'm doing everything. <laughs> I am not. I have help and you are I'm part you of the are team. The part of the team yes. and the engine that keeps us so even though it's male car, we have some good women behind us. <laughs> I'm glad he brought so, that up. <laughs> so, so tell us how we register, car. Right. I don't know. So registration is really easy. You can call uh, the church, New Life Baptist Church office at 494-4104 or send us an email at nlbcbvi at gmail.com. Um, as Bishop said before, it's free, so at all costs. You would have to um, purchase your lunch, but we're going to work with the Lifestyle Cafe Dong at the Energy Center to get our lunch special going. Yes. So, and so that'll be the only cost to our registrants as far as persons participating on that day. Um, Bishop, I uh, think that's it as far as information we need to get out. Um, closing words? This is our country. Um, sometimes you see me um, I'm on a political forum. Sometimes you see me I'm on the pulpit forum for God. But at the end of the day, I, we, we declare that, that Jesus Christ is Lord over the BVI. And, and whatever we do, we do in the name of our God. But it is a godly foundation that built this nation. And we don't want to lose that now. We want to pass that on to our children and our children's children. Come join us. Thank you, Bishop. 
You've been tuned in to a special edition of the Vigilante Dialogue. I am your host, Shana Smith, saying let's continue the change in conversation for a better Virgin Islands. Hello.